Hey, what is up, guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counter Side video. All right, so today, uh, this video is gonna be about some PSAs, some things that you guys need to take note of. All right, a couple of things is going away soon in like one to two days. So hopefully, I get this video as soon as I can. You know, get this video out and alert you guys of what's going away, what's coming, and we're gonna be focusing on the dive. All right, since that's going away soon in like one and a half day. But if you guys haven't done the battle pass, the counter pass, alright? So I do think this is a very good value, alright? So I did complete this about 2 days ago and there was still 10 days left. So as you can see today, there's still 8 days left. I'm pretty glad that the counter pass is not like in a very tight timing. So we were able to complete it. I did not purchase any additional levels. So all I did was I just purchased the special plan, right? I know you can use your admin coins to progress further right by buying the levels and stuff but i did not do that so i try to gauge that based upon the free to play experience to uh, get the maximum rewards which is level 50 and see if you know the timing will be tight and apparently it's not so uh, with 10 days left before the pass expires i was able to reach level 50. i do think the counter pass is a really good value if you guys are you know just a small spender and you're looking to buy a couple of things that can benefit you in a way getting items is very early on right i hope that they will be available later on that's how it is in kr but i'm not sure if our server will follow suit that's gonna depend all right so let's jump into mentor mentee rewards as well so if you guys are not aware all right if you go right here Go to the Menti section, you can see it's going to reset in one day and eight hours. I didn't know this thing can reset, you know? Like, I'm not sure if you can get the rewards again once you have completed it or how does this work? Because the rewards are quite, they are quite good actually. So let me show you guys, I've already completed mine. All right, so all together, you'll be getting uh, five of these employment contract tickets and then you'll get 200 of these quartz. You'll get two fusion cores. You'll get 50. Now this is very good. This one is good, right? 50 of these. 50 set binaries. These things are super rare. So Menti Rewards is one of the best way, besides whaling of course, besides spending your real money. It's like literally the best way to get the set binaries. 50 of them, that means you have 5 chance to have a go at an equipment at this set to try to get your skill haze, cooldown reduction. Alright, and then 10%, the last one will give you 500 quarts. Now, as you can see, there's still this stupid bug going on. Uh, hopefully, they'll fix that soon. This Menti Mentor Rewards, it will all be gone in one day and eight hours. Now, again, I'm extremely curious if, you know, like, will it be reset in a way that I can still get the rewards? Like, a new month means I can have a chance to get more Menti Mentor Rewards or will, will it only reset for players who haven't completed the quest? So now that I'm extremely curious, all right, if you guys know, let me know in the comment section below. I guess we'll find out in one day and eight hours. All right, so let's jump into the dive. All right, this is the most important thing. So by now, I think most players should have at least two to three SSR ships, right? Most of us can craft more than one SSR ship. Most of you guys should already have Enterprise. Now let me jump into my dive. Uh, I noticed that I haven't done, I haven't completed the last four stages. I just realized that earlier today. And I think I'm going to try to do it later. And you can see receipt permit reissued in one day and eight hours. All right, so it's just the preparation for the infos that you're going to need. All right, now if you guys are not aware, the dives are going to need these blue books. These things are going to be used for a lot of things, not just in dives. It's going to be used in, um, you know, leveling up your character's skill level, for example, right? The info book informations which is why ideally i've been making i did make a video back then and ask you guys to farm this daily because when the dive resets guess how many infos you're gonna need from stage one to stage 40 you're gonna need a total of nine thousand infos all right nine thousand of these books to be precise and all the rewards are pretty crazy, right? Yes, you're spending a lot of infos, but these are worth it, all right? You're getting 500,000 here. Like right here, you can, get, you can get like 10 special ship schematics, right? And then right here, you can get more binary options and of course, 500 quartz alongside with some of this imaginary core, which can be used to purchase more things. Now, ideally, some players have been saying that, okay, these infos are too expensive. Maybe it's not worth it to do dive. Dude, it's definitely worth it, all right? You need to be farming your infos every day. So I usually do these three stages, all right? So this one, 1-2, uh, it depends on you. If you want the ship mats, go ahead. But this info for 1-1 and 1-3, you want to do every single day. Yes, they consume a lot of your Eternium, but trust me, 
you need for dives, you need it for characters, to progress your character skill level, you need it for so many things. If you even want to stack, you're going to need a lot of this. So farm this every single day. Uh, it's going to be beneficial for you once the dive resets. So if you guys haven't started doing that, make sure to do so. Alright, so let me show you guys how many of the things you're going to get in the dive reset. Alright, from stage 1 to stage 40. Now keep in mind, right now, we only have up to stage 40, right? As you can see, this is the last stage. But in KR server, they extended this to stage 45. Now that's going to need a lot more infos. From stage 1 to stage 45, you're going to need 11,000. 490 infos that is a lot all right so general rewards let's talk about the rewards you're getting out from all of this all of the dives all right you'll be getting 10 employment contracts eventually call 14,600 1,700 quartz this is if you are free to play this is a lot of quartz right here 12,100 eternium 1 million and 265,000 credits 20 special catalysts you'll be getting a bunch of appraisals and most importantly, the ship materials. Now, I do think these are the more important ones. All right, you're getting 40 of the normal ship schematics, 25 special, 56 Italian propellant, 140 ship materials, 90 prime ship materials. All right, 10 ship unique material selector. Of course, you're getting all of these as well, which is the high elasticity armor for armored ships, right? Ship chargers, three heavy covering, superconductor for auxiliary ships, and so on and so forth. Alright, so big shout out and credits to Antila for making this list right here on the Discord server. I'll try to link his docs as well in the description below. Make sure you guys are prepared because that's a lot to miss out on. Now, regarding the dives, at the end of the day, you will need 4 ships, right? As you can see right here, you're gonna need 4 ships. So a lot of people have been asking me, Guitar Rock, are you going to craft your next SSR ship? I'm still thinking about that, alright? I am leaning towards Glidney Armor Type for now, but a lot of players have been telling me New Ohio is pretty good as well. I might go for that. New Ohio has a pretty weird passive skill, for sure, but the active skill is what makes it really, really strong. And that's something that I am looking forward to, uh, to trying to get, because uh, if you want to craft another ship which is locked behind New Ohio, which is this New Detroit right here, all right? So to craft New Detroit, you will need New Ohio to be constructed. So uh, New Detroit is a very unique ship. It uh, basically favors strikers. And, you know, I am a... Lolly Twin Abuser, I'm a Chifuyu Abuser, I have plenty of good strikers actually in my team and maybe I want to try this in the future, I'm not sure how well it works for now or how well it fares but definitely it looks to be an interesting ship for sure. A uh, Glebne Port Type and Armor Type, if I were to pick between one of these, right, I would most likely lean towards Armor Type but it's so similar to Lake Superior as well but Lake Superior is always banned in PvP so that's an unfortunate thing. And you can see, I have 24,000 of this, so I have enough to buy some of these if I need to, and hopefully craft them as well. Alright guys, make sure you guys uh, have at least 10,000 infos ready, and also you might want to have some extra as well, because we're gonna have a new banner, like in like 2 days time. Okay, so that's gonna be it for today's video. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.